Okay, so the lab. What do we want to do? We want to detect anomalies of the mechanical part movement trajectory. What kind of sensor do we want to use? It will be MEMS sensor and we will use accelerometer to control the acceleration and gyroscope sensor to control the trajectory. So in total, we will use three plus three axes, so six axis sensor. What is the regular condition? Uh, because we are going to build anomaly detection algorithm, so we need to provide regular condition signal examples and abnormal behavior signal examples. So for us, the regular condition, it is a linear movement trajectory. For example, linear motor in industrial automation. This is this is one of the, of the solution. And what is the abnormal condition? Movement over the parabolic curve and static or steady position as well. What is our target board, our hardware? It is STEVAL, STWIN KT1B board. You can consider this board as a kind of sensor hub having low power microcontroller, Cortex M4 based. There is a quite rich set of sensors, three different types of the accelerometers, the uh, wideband one, low power one, and the generic one. We will use this generic one, ISM330DHCX, having both accelerometer and gyroscope. Then environmental sensors, uh, humidity temperature, precision temperature, pressure sensor and magnetometer, two kinds of the microphones, the analog one, MEMS one, the output from the board uh, we are going to use, it is USB CDC, so the console output. However, you can uh, extend the, the communication capability with the Wi-Fi model, with the 3G model. There is dedicated dedicated socket for that. Also, you can use uh, ADC inputs, uh, I2C and SPI. The sensor, once again, uh, accelerometer plus uh, gyroscope, so six axes, it is ISM330, industry, industry MEMS sensor, and if you would be interested in, in the details, you can find uh, it's on the on the link at the bottom of the slide. Now it is important to remember that we will use six axes: uh, acceleration plus gyroscope. What are the conditions? Of course, we don't have linear motor on our on our tables, so we are going to mimic mechanical power movement by hand. So very cost efficient way like that and like that to mimic uh, the parabolic curve trajectory. The signal size, so the number of the samples to be collected is 128. Uh, the sensor output data rate or the sampling frequency is 52 Hertz. What gives us as a result in time domain 2.5 seconds per signal. So one signal will cover 2.5 seconds. Then the full scale of the accelerometer to be used is plus minus 2G. will mimic the movement by hand, so I don't expect high acceleration and also high ratio of the movement, so high frequency of the movement, so the gyroscope full scale is plus minus 250 degrees per second. And now a few remarks how to mimic the movement. So maybe it is good practice to, to select reference and points to define the range of movement. Approximately 220, 30 centimeters distance. So for example, you can use particular uh, keys on, on, on your keyboard or the size of the PC, whatever. Just keep this distance. 
The next remark uh, or suggestion is to perform several atomic movements during one signal period, 2.5 seconds, keeping constant speed. I mean, for example, tempo like, like that. Or so in practice, I'm able to fit three movements within one signal. Then maybe I will show you using using board. Uh, please do not tap touch endpoints. Break uh, the boards uh, should break uh, uh, in the air like that. No, like that. So in the air, and the board orientation, the USB connector uh, on the top. The USB connector you can you can. Uh, Take your boards, so please remove the boards from the Easter. And the USB connector on the top. Our regular condition, it is linear movement. So for example, I'm selecting control E and F FN on the left side and the control on the right side. So this is my range of the movement, and I'm moving board like this, emulating the linear movement, the linear motor, let's say. And the USB is oriented on the top. Like this and abnormal condition, it is movement like that. So please keep quite significant amplitude of this parabola to, to add significant differentiation between linear and parabolic movement. And when mimic the linear movement, avoid cycle like, like that. Just move really, move linearly, stop and then back. So we know the normal condition, we know the regular condition. I provide you the source code, the, an example project. However, we are not going to use it today. All the features are covered by main.c, so to avoid um, switching between strange uh, source code files, console output, uh, virtual COM port logger integrated. Of course, the target hardware, it is STWIN. Just after this graph is important, just after reset, the application enters logger. So no need to press any button, <clears throat> just plug the power and that's all. OK, so now it's time to uh, flash the, the application. So please connect the USB cable, this longer one, to the USB socket of the board and then connect the USB cable to the PC. When connected, take the, or maybe I will show you from the blister, take the Estelink programmer, the V3 version, the small one, take the, the flat cable, connect to the programmer, and then connect to the STWIN board. And then connect second, USB cable to the Estelink. So the first USB cable which should be connected, it is the USB of the STWIN, and the second it is Estelink. So I, I just connected, and now I'm going to the repository of the workshop, and then there is a lab01 underscore bin file. So I'm going to this location, then I'm opening the second instance of the file explorer, and I'm going to the, I'm opening the, the Estelink location, and now copy the binary and paste to the Estelink. Then I remove the flat cable, I remove the Estelink, so the green LED must blink so we can go further. And now it is finished of the slides.